What's up, guys? This is the Jawas and Java podcast. My name is Mike. This is my brother, Stefan. So today, we're just going to give you a little uh, intro into our minds, uh, answer a few questions that you guys had uh, on DM and sent us on uh, Instagram. Uh, one question that really made me think, and uh, I actually asked my brother this a couple days ago, because when we were first dis discussing starting the podcast, this was something that I'd never asked him about and never thought about. So when I heard his uh, answer, I was very shocked. So I said that we, you know, we, we should really talk to this more to other people and uh, see what other people think, because this is a question I've never thought of. So somebody asked us what our first memory of Star Wars was. And uh, Steph, you want to you want to take it away? Yeah. Um, so I had to I had to think back quite a bit because I, you know, we like like Mike said, we never really thought about this. It's kind of just been, you know, we've been watching Star Wars for so long. Then, you know, you don't you don't really think about where you were when it all started. And my oldest memory of Star Wars in, you know, in movie was I just remember Watto and Qui-Gon, you know, in try, trying to get the the piece for the ship from, you know, from Watto at his, you know, little Prequels. Shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Episode one. So that was that was where my head was, which was like I said, Watto, Qui Gon on Tatooine, and then Mike, you wanna you wanna start to give us what what you were thinking? Yeah. So uh, when you told me, like we've never discussed. This is like maybe one thing that we've never even touched on was our first memory because we're brothers and we've been together watching Star Wars, collecting Star Wars merchandise, you know. Uh, visiting Galaxy's Edge, doing all these things where we're always discussing and always seeing these things together. And I never thought about it. So when he told me that the prequels was his first memory, I was taken back because my first memory is the originals. And you don't realize we're only a few years apart, but you don't realize how much that time with, with how much Star Wars comes out or how little Star Wars came out at certain times, uh, what you miss. So my memories of Star Wars, my first memory of Star Wars that I could think back on was uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO walking up to Jabba's palace and knocking on the uh, on the big door and uh, the eyeball coming out and in Hutney's it's speaking to them and they're taken back and they enter into the dark Jabba's palace and the music and all that stuff. And that's my first memory. And like I remember as a kid because I couldn't grasp the fact I guess I was I was very young but I remember for the longest time I just thought Luke Skywalker was the biggest scumbag because he walked in and they you know they projected Luke and he says I'm offering you these droids and they're like wait what and mm -hmm. that was my, that was me I was like wait what what how could you do that how could you offer the, your like this is see this is you know three movies later and you're giving your droids up to job of the hut. And for the longest time, cause I couldn't grasp the fact that it was a plan. Uh, I, I just, I just hated on Luke. So for so yeah. long. Yeah. I mean, we both pretty much got introdu introduced into star Wars with two really bad guys and uh Watto and Luke Skywalker. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, and what really blows my mind about that is that like my first star Wars like like the the prequels to me is is a secondary Star Wars world from when I was younger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that came later, and I couldn't believe we were getting more Star Wars. I yeah. couldn't. Uh, we were actually able to go to the movies and see something that wasn't from years past. You know, like that was which, our yeah. Like, which which I can agree with because it, like we were saying yeah, we because you, you know, started my off. introduction into Star Wars is the prequels. So, so none of this was new at the time. None of this was. You know, there wasn't Obi Wan and and Qui Gon. These were my Jedi. These, you know, this this little boy was, you know, the the second coming and all that yeah. stuff. That was my introduction to it. Was it was young Anakin and, for you and young Luke for me. Yeah, right. So that that's my that's my introduction into it. And uh, you know, I you know, I didn't know the prequels were bad movies until I was twenty years old. You know what I mean? I was I was told when I was borderline an adult that Hayden Christensen was a bad actor and 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 midi chlorians was silly and and jaw uh, jaw binks was silly and you know all that stuff was 
shunned for a period of time. You know what I mean? So that I, I think that's a huge takeaway and, 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 you know, shapes you as a Star Wars fan when you, you know, depending on which, you know, which generation you were introduced to at what time. And, and, and after we had that, like, I've thought about this before, but after we had that conversation, all I could think about was the fact that there's so many young kids that their first Star Wars that they're watching is this new yeah. Disney trilogy that everyone, you know, has different opinions on whether they hate it or they love it or they're indifferent, whatever the situation is. But yeah, like these kids are watching it and they, this is their first Star Wars. And then they're going to go back and watch the other Star Wars. And that's going to be a totally different opinion because it's totally different for them. Like, like, like I said, you know, to, to even, to even look at it from a sequel trilogy standpoint, like you just said, there's going to be a whole generation of people that don't know that, you know, Ray being Palpatine's granddaughter and all that stuff ruined an entire, you know, you know, there were plot people, holes or whatever the situation going, yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. There are plot holes. Like, you, you know, know what I mean? Depending on the cir circumstance. Because now, now as an adult, I can throw on episode one tomorrow and say, oh, you know what? The whole C3PO thing was a little hokey and Jar Jar and all this stuff and Anakin and the pod racing and all that stuff was very, you know, corny and hokey and all that stuff. Yeah, we're, we're old enough to look back now and see the different things, you know. Oh, that, yeah. that, and and like, opinions, that. opinions on Star Wars change as the day goes on, let oh. alone decades and years. And you know what I mean? My opinion on certain movies at one point were so strong, even if it was negatively, was so negatively oh. strong that now I don't even think about and, and vice versa. You know what I mean? There's just different eras in Star Wars and even in like our lives, you know, the different eras of Star Wars that we we went through, especially now, like yeah. there's nothing like Star, like what's going on now with the next, well, it's just so you know. big now. It's, it's just so big. Yeah. It's almost like now they're just executing on the fact that this is a huge, huge, never ending galaxy. Which we didn't you know feel I mean? like that was the case in the past though. We never, you know, there well, was- No, a, of course not. Th yeah, there was a time where we thought that we were done with Star Wars and this was the end of, of Star yeah. Wars for us. And I remember discussing that, like go, coming out of movie theaters and stuff. Yeah, for sure. And, and you know, and, and you pick back stuff and now we're getting all these, you know, these 10 new shows and X amount of movies, who knows? I mean, you know, and, and they're just recreating characters. Like I actually- made a joke to you earlier today about how we might be watching when we're old men, you know, 30, 40 years from now, we might be watching Grogu in the Luke Skywalker role in oh, without a doubt. trilogy. You know what I mean? And that's how much this has evolved. And that's what they created, which is they created this never ending expansion of the galaxy there's new planets, there's old planets, but new cities and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's a great, it's, it's, it's a great, great thing we got going right now. And it's just the way, the way they were executing on how it's like, it. yeah, for a star Wars fan, it's a dream come true. If you're a star Wars Too fan, yeah. you, the, 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 the way that star Wars is being portrayed right now with the Mandalorian and, you know, it, it, it really began for me getting, you know, the animated series and getting some, characters and character arc oh, it was just yeah so like i mean the the state of star wars right now being a star wars fan it, it it's like a dream come true you you, you can't it's never come, ending yeah yeah it, it, the, the end there's endless possibilities there's announcements that just recently came out that are for years and years to come and that's just what i believe is the start because we're getting live action characters their own you know stories we're getting answers to old stuff we're definitely going to get some new you know, projects that are a lot of new characters and those are just going to develop over the years. So this is definitely a time where Star Wars is endless. It's something that I never would have imagined, never could have, uh, you know, as a kid, I waiting years for one Star Wars movie oh, and, yeah. and then, and then it ending and not knowing if you were ever going to get another Star Wars movie yeah. uh, and just mm -hmm. having, just yeah. having figures and, you know, so yeah. So, uh, Another question that really, you know, we didn't discuss this one yet, but we kind of have an idea, I'm sure, you know, due to us being brothers and watching Star Wars and stuff. Uh, who our favorite character in the Star Wars universe is? Yeah. And uh, this is a really, really tough one 
because usually just to make it easier on myself, I go by trilogy. Yeah. So I'll have a favorite character in the original trilogy. I'll have a favorite, you know, in the in the prequels and the sequels on on in in animation in the novels. Usually, I like to spread it out to make it easier on myself. But if I had to pick one gun to my head, I think I think you know I think I would go the route of Obi Wan Kenobi because I just think that he's the you know he's the total package in terms of not not perfect but perfectly imperfect with with all of his qualities as a jedi as a master you know granted he was a failed master but you know it 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 all comes full circle and and i do think that he was the most he was the all around my all around favorite character as a kid always consistent never you know never had a never had a dull moment never did something that i had to question or think twice about or or wonder why they would go that route which you know you you can say that about other characters that i absolutely adore but i think i think obi-wan just hits every nail on the head without really having any glaring hole in which you know yeah i i he, you know i just He's and it's best. funny when oh. they ask that question, like I, I, I had to think about it. It's, it's almost impossible yeah. to narrow it down to one character. That's my favorite character in Star Wars. Uh, you know, to narrow it down is very tough. But I also, I, once I read that question, and I didn't want to discuss anything like that before, but I knew just thinking of always growing up and the figures and the merchandise that we bought and the t-shirts and the figures and the posters or whatever the situation was or playing star wars squadrons and you're always picking the rebels and i like i when i started playing the game i remember I, you started the same day and when i chose the empire in the beginning i was like oh Stefan's choosing the rebels so i'm gonna you yeah, know what i mean course. like we knew you know i always went pilot, you know what i mean x-wing mm -hmm. tie fighter like all yeah. those stuff I have ones that I prefer and you prefer yeah. the latter. And like I always ever, went to you know i always lo yeah, loved i was never the, getting the, the, the tie fighter figure so to speak yeah and, and so I, I knew I knew that you were going to be on the realm of the the light side when when I asked that question. And I also know you know it, it's tough because then you, you start breaking it into the Ahsokas and you know all the new characters and stuff. But if mm -hmm. I'm going to choose a character, what I'm interpreting this as is who I could choose is which is my favorite character in Star Wars universe at this moment. And you know the past few years, it's been Maul. And uh, like it goes back to when I was younger and we did go to the movies and we, I remember going to the Pizza Hut and Taco Bell before we were on our way to the movies and seeing they had a big poster of all the, they, at the time they were the caps for the lids that were figures mm -hmm. in Taco Bell. And I remember seeing all, you know, a bunch of new faces and yeah, one of and them we was- spoke, And we spoke about that briefly and I yeah. said, oh, I remember the Yoda one. Like yeah, exactly. And, and Darth Maul was, yeah, I remember, because right. I remember seeing the double lightsaber when we saw commercials for Star Wars on TV, trailers. And I remember seeing the double lightsabers and I loved him. And then when we went to the movies, I was, you know, I thought he was super cool because Darth Vader was always my favorite bad guy, Palpatine. But like Darth Vader was my favorite character when I was a kid. And then when we got to- uh get an, another Sith dark side character Darth Maul was awesome and then now we bring it years later and we have the animated series and we have Clone Wars and we have uh Rebels and I think they just blew it you know they blew me away with the uh, yeah, character they, arc Star with Wars Maul. Has, Star Wars has constantly just excelled when it came to the bad guy yeah Vader, Maul, Sidious, Kylo, Gideon now you know they just they 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 never you know never don't just knock the villain yeah. out of the park so it's always easy to be like Oof, he's cool he's in all black he's powerful he's scary they always just nail every single one of those you know what makes the perfect bad guy they always knock it out of the park and they're doing it right now with gideon so oh yeah without always, a doubt they're, they're constantly evolving into the next amazing villain you know what i mean and then you know Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Because, like I said, they're not slowing down right now. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Uh, the next yeah. one won't be any any less amazing than the you know than the last. But yeah. So another question that's going to be almost as difficult as thinking about a favorite character is a favorite movie. So so just to clarify, this is favorite movie, not favorite yeah. trilogy. No, nah, just just favorite movie. <laughs> the movie that you throw on the TV. Okay. 
Uh, nah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I, I, I would, I would always, always go with episode four. And my reason for it is just how pure that movie is and how original and classic and, uh, and like I said, pure, how the characters are just themselves. They're unapologetically themselves. Yeah, you know that, I mean? no that's the start. This, no one has this looming, you know, too big of a shoes to fill. Kind there was of no thing. expectations at that time. Sorry, say again? There was no expectations. They couldn't have any right, expectations yeah, like of, you, have, you know. You have, Luke, you have Luke who lives on Tatooine, this desert with his uncle who's just moping around, wanting to get out of there. You have Han who's this really bad guy, so to speak. You know what I mean? And then you have, you know, Leia, who's just this, you know, amazing, amazing character. But like I said, they're just so pure and so themselves and don't have this, this huge, you know, this huge cloud over them. You know what I mean? Which a lot of characters have now. You know what I mean? Like, like it's the same thing. If they, if they come out with a movie tomorrow, all the internet would be talking about is, oh, how is this person going to fill this shoe, et cetera, et cetera, which creates impossible expectation but yeah i just i love episode four if i'm if i'm on the couch and i'm throwing a star wars on 10 times out of 10 it's going to be it's going to be a new hope yeah so i mean if i'm going to answer this question which is very very difficult because to narrow down to one movie but i think that i'm going to go with uh return of the jedi obviously because Mm -hmm. that's my throw on movie that's my original trilogy you know finale that's my, uh, you know, that's my go-to. I love it. It's what I remember like as a young kid. So it's what got me into Star Wars and it's just, it's just one of my favorites. But also if I'm going to throw something on, I'm going to show somebody Star Wars that might not be too familiar with everything. Episode three. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so I agree. It, you episode know, episode three is, is special, especially yeah. for people, you know, in our age group. Oh, without a doubt. Trilogy generation. Episode three is so, so important. And like you said, if you're showing it to someone who's never saw Star Wars before, listen, you're going to see Darth Vader. You know who that is. You're going to see him. You're going to see some of probably the best lightsaber work ever is in that movie. Because you got to think about Yoda versus Sidious. It's exciting. uh, Vader. Yeah, it's nonstop, nonstop intensity and excitement. So I agree. I agree. Revenge of the Sith is, is probably the most special movie to me. So I, I definitely, definitely agree with that. And Return of the Jedi is a great pick too, because that's another one. When we were kids, you know what I mean? Ewoks, all, all that, all those like um, Endor scenes and all that stuff was really important. You had, like you said, the finale, you know, Vader's, Vader's 180. So no, Return of the Jedi is amazing. And Revenge of the Sith is just... Yeah. And we're going to be talking uh, a lot of star wars on here so, but we're going to be touching on everything and uh one thing we're going to be touching on is because we buy it and we love it and we're always sending each other what's the newest merch that dropped and we're early in the morning popping in places and trying to be uh, hell, uh, you know we're in uh target trying to get them to open the box and give us the first figure and stuff like that yesterday. so i was there yesterday i was trying to get some guy opening uh Oh, get, getting the Gideon Funkos out, the Gideon Funko tees. I was like, yeah, you got the box cutter on you? Yeah, m- merch yeah. merch is out, is our thing. We love it. We always, you know, since we were kids, we always had Star Wars stuff. We always wanted the new stuff, whether it was the lightsaber that popped out when you flung it down or the legacy sabers now that we're getting at, uh, at Galaxy's Edge. But somebody asked us, uh, what's our favorite? They, they asked us, what's our favorite merch that we own? Star Wars related, which, which is, yeah. That's too dicey. I mean, probably the ones, I mean, that's it. That's, that's a really, really tough one. Cause it would be hard to like, you know, narrow it down the other. and they're all so different. None of them are even similar. No. Like if I take my action figures and my, this and my, that, and my books and my, you know, my Legos and all that stuff. But my, my favorite things that I probably have are probably my Lego collection. Cause first of all, I work, I work hard on those and, and I do love, you know, a lot of them are, so, which is right here. And, uh, and besides that, I love my, love my Galaxy's Edge hilt. That's a really, really important one, especially with how much I love Galaxy's Edge. So I don't know. I would probably sum it up and just say my Legos. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I really don't even know. 
I mean, obviously, I have so many. I love my Black series and all that stuff. I it would be my... so tough to narrow yeah, it down I don't to know. one. I would, but but if 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 all of my figures were in a burning building tomorrow, and I could only grab grabs, you know, X amount, it would probably be my Legos. Yeah, and I mean, it, when I think about merch, it's all over the place. With like, we we've, we've got certain pieces of clothing. We've got you know. And one thing that you know that I, I have upstairs that that I love is the life size. I have the life size rubies statue Darth Vader, which yeah. uh, you know, okay. if you guys want to check that out, we actually put an in, uh, post on the Instagram of some of the life size figures that I have, and I'll be bringing some down here when we do shows together. Maybe the Darth Vader and put them, you know, put them in the back so you guys can check them out, talk about them. But one thing I really love is obviously the life size Darth Vader ultimate merch for somebody yeah. like me who's been That's buying fair. stuff yeah figures your whole life life size <laughs> Vader. i just have some grogu plushes <laughs> and <laughs> and some pins uh, yeah and, and another another thing that i like if we're going back in the day i know we could go back to dad's house and we have obviously boxes and oh, of yeah. collectibles and stuff that if we pulled that out one day we wouldn't even believe the oh, stuff that we have i'll never but, forget i had a uh count dooku saber yeah well that's but, what i was gonna know, say it was the plastic one you know but that, just... that's that's what i was gonna say I, might, I have the from when i was younger the mace windu purple lightsaber yeah. which is what was nice about is i always got the sith merchandise yeah well when it came to sabers because my favorite color was red and that's so why by was, default and... you know they would yeah. just get me the red sabers which was vader i mean i have the vader uh the vader galaxy's edge hilt yeah. I and, mean, uh, Ma- I just would Mace always get the was, red sabers. Mace Windu was a badass, you know, and and having Samuel oh, Jackson as a kid in the movie. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> having Mace Windu, uh, Samuel Jackson in the movie, he was cool as hell. And then he popped out a purple lightsaber, which we obviously never yeah, saw before. And pur- that. purple was my favorite color, so obviously I was buying the purple lightsaber. That's why uh, I love the. Uh, that's why I love what they're doing now which is they're making the yellow, because I pretty much love all those color schemes, you know, yellow, orange, red, blah, blah, blah. And I would never would get the blue saber or the green saber. Yeah. And now what they're doing is the yellow lightsaber is, yeah. is taking on a, a, a mind of its own. So you got Ray with that. Yeah, once you pop out a new Jedi color like guards, that. There's like, the comic book now where Luke is wielding a yellow saber. You know what I mean? So when, I, when they pop out a new color lightsaber... Or, you know, when we were younger, the hilts were even very similar. Like, they were just pretty much straight on hilts. And then you started getting, like, some crazy yeah. hilts, like the double-sided Darth Maul. Uh, you got... Dooku. Uh, That's why Dooku was my friend. favorite. Uh, you know, his, his lightsaber is insane. Hilt. Yeah, Dooku was oh. my favorite hilt because of the curve. Oh, with that curve is what made me as a kid lose my mind. Uh, I I remember when I sent you the picture. Well, you were talking about how bad you wanted Galaxy's Edge to drop the Dooku legacy yeah. saber. Well, that was, and then, and then they dropped it. (laughs) Yeah, I was making. I went. I went about uh this podcast a little late because I went about two weeks straight, where I was calling everything. Yeah, I I know. I know. Yeah, you know what I mean. You were saying what they were coming out with next, and they were popping it. I was was cooking. I basically had all of Mando's plot points and uh, and Galaxy's Edge and, and Black Series lineup predicted somehow just throwing out bs but uh yeah the dooku hilt is is a, is a great one yeah and we'll, we'll be talking like we're going to be going on tangents all the time talking about everything but we'll uh merchandise is definitely going to be one thing we talk about you know on, on here and uh we were talking about galaxy's edge you're wearing the black spire outpost hat yeah uh galaxy's edge is is well, yeah, on another yeah, level yeah. Both that, of us, you know, separately, not together, but yeah, you know, we both we both have gone to the Disney parks six times between the two of us in the past mm-hmm. year, and who knows what that number would be like if it wasn't for COVID. Oh yeah, I, I probably yeah, Galaxy's had Edge the- is Galaxy's Edge is the mecca. You know what I mean? It's very it's very hardcore Star Wars fandom. Yeah, it's very canon, which is which is a very important thing now because the Star Wars lineup has has taken up you know a, a mind of its own in terms of you know it could get confusing here and there. Very canon, it very it's 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 very like stern sticks with it. Oh yeah, like, you know what I mean. They're not just like Galaxy's Edge isn't just having um a Mandalorian, authentic Mandalorian walking around because it's it's it takes place in a certain time period and 
Mando wasn't around in that time period or whatever the case is. You know what I mean? So it's very, it's very strict, very hardcore, but also amazing. If, if you, if you've never seen the single star Wars movie, yeah. you know, those I, rides, the, yeah, it's it's a place where you could enjoy it. There's a lot of Disney fans that go to to uh, Hollywood studios and go from Toy Story Land and then pop into, you know, the Black Spire Outpost and Batu, and there mm-hmm. you, you can't not love it. it it's yeah, it's it's, it's amazing. It's like being in a movie. It's the most like being in a movie. And one thing that I know we're gonna probably be doing together very very soon once we get that announcement is uh, the Star Wars new Star Wars hotel that they're gonna be yeah, doing in uh, Galactic uh, Cruiser. Uh, that's like that's yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just close our eyes when they show the price yeah i know I, I, I can't I, 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 press I, whatever it is whatever it is we're in because that's like oh, another okay. level two taking the transport uh over to galaxy's edge and staying in a hotel which looks just like a like you're sitting in a in a, in a ship you know nice. yeah so that, said, that's it's all that's it's all very do. very canon very very stern to the timeline and all that stuff you know what i yeah. mean so you know all all that stuff. You know you could uh, if you don't if you don't read the right book, and you're a Star Wars fan. If you're just a Star Wars movie fan, and you go to that park, you'd be like, oh, you know. I remember. I mean, I'll use myself as an example. The first time I went to Galaxy's Edge, I uh, I obviously went on Smuggler's Run, and I wasn't caught up. I wasn't entirely caught up with the uh, with the series because of Disney Plus, and um. And I was like, why does Hondo have the Millennium Falcon? You know what I mean? Like, that's a question. That's a question that when, you, when you're- Oh, without a doubt, yeah. You question it. And next thing you know, there's a book out there. So a children's book out there somewhere where Han gives the keys to Hondo. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it, all, it, it, all gets, uh, it all gets like confusing unto itself. When it comes to Galaxy's Edge, I think we'll do probably a whole episode where we just talk about, then we'll show some pictures from our trips and some stuff that we bought at Galaxy's Edge and new stuff coming out. And we'll just, we could talk probably about all the stuff in Galaxy's Edge and the Rise of Resistance and the Millennium Falcon, the, the rides and the merch and everything. We'll just probably have to go through that for a, probably an hour. And that goes for everything. <laughs> that goes yeah, for but- novels. That goes for some for some TV shows that goes for, you know, what they just announced that goes for across the board. I mean, listen, we, uh, we decided to do this about, about a week ago or so. And then they did that, uh, that investors. Yeah. Know, which that, 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 that's really, that gave us enough to talk about. Yeah. Well, that's the maybe. thing we, we always all day long. We're talking, texting about star Wars. There's times that I'm sitting there and I'm doing something and all of a sudden a theory pops in my mind about the next yeah, Mandalorian yeah, yeah. episode. And I'm like, which I have like a hundred theories about what could happen in the finale or a- anything going on in the future of star Wars. So, you know, what we're going to do is instead of texting each other about it and talking about it, we'll jump on the computer and talk about mm-hmm. it and get, uh, we want to get a lot of people involved where, uh they're asking us questions we'll do a bunch of live streams where we could just answer your questions straight from here but we're going to be covering everything yeah. uh we're going to be talking about like we said the, the all the trilogies we're going to be talking about the animation we're going to be talking about books comics merch series, merchandise you know. yeah galaxy's edge all the yeah. future of star wars we're going to we'll somehow cover everything because we're interested in everything. Yeah. We're you know always I mean? talking about everything. So yeah, we're interested in the games, the game universe. Yeah, the games. We're interested in, yeah, everything. You know what I mean? Canon, non-canon, anything, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty much across the board. So we don't want to hold back on any, any specific thing because it doesn't pertain to us. You know what I yeah. mean? And, um, and we do have our opinions. We do have opinions where we don't like, I don't love all things Star Wars. There's our movies that I could do without or movies that I love that a lot of people don't. But, you know, we, we, we would like to cover all bases. Yeah. And uh, the most important thing to us is that you, go, you guys uh, subscribe to the YouTube because that's where we'll be putting out our content, our videos on YouTube. Uh, and we'll also be able to, we want to see feedback from you guys. So we know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to talk about. And we want to hear your opinions on everything. So if we tell you, we don't really like something, we want to hear your theory, what you like, what you don't like about it. Uh, we, you know, we have, so we're also going to be chatting it up on discord with you guys. So hopefully you guys all, uh, join our discord, which that link will also be below. And 
our Instagram, which is at Jawas and Java, which is going to have all the links that you need to everything, including our uh, merch shop with our cool logo that you could see here. This is uh, our Jawas and Java mug, which is uh, the both of us on there as Jawas, mm -hmm. mustache, glasses. Yeah, so I had a much uh, had a much longer mustache. A few yeah, weeks. yeah, you'll grow back though. <laughs> All right, so yeah, make sure to follow us on Instagram. YouTube. We're very, we're very active on, uh, we're very active on social media, and we also, like Mike said, we have a bunch of merch. We have a bunch of hoodies, t-shirts. We have a, uh, we have our mall t-shirt on there with his uh, infamous quote from the Clone Wars. So yes. we got some good stuff on there. I think, I think, and we're gonna be updating it all the time. We're gonna be, you know, and and oh, and with, yeah. we want to take yeah. feedback. So if you guys like something, or you guys look, our biggest goal with our merch is. Uh, we always said that there's stuff out there that we want that we can't find and we know that other people want it too. Yeah. Uh, so we want to, you know, we want to make stuff that everybody likes and everybody wants. So, you know, yeah. we, we really want to be uh, in the loop with you guys and talking to you guys. And so, like I said, subscribe to the uh, YouTube, join our discord, follow us on Instagram. If you buy merch, which a bunch of people already, you know, we, we, we saw that a few people already reposted us and we reposted you guys on the, uh, the Instagram and, you know, we'll post your pictures and stuff and uh, talk about everything Star Wars with you guys. All right. So next right. episode will be coming soon and we'll have to really get in on this Mandalorian finale coming up. All right. All right.